What's up guys, and welcome back to another Star Wars story video. So I guess you can say, for the past few days now, I've been watching people's opinions and reactions to the Star Wars movies that have been out for the past few years. More preferably, the sequels, and more specifically, The Rise of Skywalker. Now, say what you want about the movie. Personally, I didn't like it, and I thought there was a lot of things wrong with it, and I thought a lot of things could change. However, it does reveal interesting facts and questions that we can go over in today's video. And as you see from the title and thumbnail, we are going to be going over the battle between Rey and Palpatine that took place on Exegol. So if you've seen the movie, then you know that Rey is brought back by the Force Ghost by transferring life to Rey, which at the end, Rey deflects the lightning back onto Palpatine. And this is where you think Palpatine should have learned in Revenge of the Sith when he was up against Mace Windu. And if you really want to, we can include the scene in Return of the Jedi, when we see Vader kill Palpatine when he was so focused on killing Luke. This has happened to Palpatine twice, and coming around the third time, he fails yet again. So why does this happen, and why does it work every time? Like, in The Rise of Skywalker, Palpatine is so powerful with the Force, and is so drawn to the dark side, it's almost impossible for him to be stopped. Especially if it's just a scavenger girl, and a boy who's just been brought back from the dark side, but somehow, for Rey, it completely worked. This, I believe, is simply because of Palpatine's huge aggression over confidence that he had built up. This was the same thing in Episode 6. Palpatine was so focused on Luke, he didn't even see his apprentice betrayal that was coming. And when the time came for the Emperor to realize what was happening, it was too late, and the cause of confidence in him led to his death. And again, just like in Return of the Jedi, Luke mentions that his confidence is his weakness. Yeah. It was the exact same thing in episode 9. Palpatine had the huge fleet in the galaxy that he knew the resistance was no match for. In his mind, he had killed the last Skywalker, Ben Solo, alongside him only being inches away from ruling the galaxy once more. So when the Emperor was facing Rey, it didn't even cross his mind that he was even going to lose. So like, again, just like in Return of the Jedi, it was too late for Palpatine to realize he was going to be defeated by Rey. But if we want to change the scenario, and if Palpatine was in a lightsaber duel with Rey, or even Ben perhaps, then Palpatine might have had the upper hand considering he was so powerful with the dark side, he would be no match for Rey or Ben. Emperor Palpatine also studied all four elements of lightsaber combat, so that kind of technically sums it all up for us, like there's no way that Rey was going to beat Palpatine in a lightsaber combat duel or even Ben perhaps. And if you really want to look into it more, this kind of like does prove that the dark side is a lot more powerful than the light, and I mean a lot more powerful. With the dark side, you unlock so many abilities and powers that are completely different from the light. I mean, it's just like, it's just like Palpatine said. The dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. Which, from a certain point of view, is all true. The dark side is unnatural to so many abilities compared to the light. Which is actually why, in some ways, like, the dark side has been used for good. Or like, in good situations. But, like, that's another video that we can talk about and go into at another time. Which leads us to the end of today's Star Wars story video. And it was just Palpatine's overconfidence that led him to his death a second time. It was also somewhat because of the Force Ghosts that were helping Rey defeat Palpatine. And besides, the Force Ghosts are so powerful and strong, it would almost be impossible for Palpatine to beat Rey. And I believe if the Force Ghosts were not with Rey, then Palpatine would just be able to completely destroy Rey. Like, there's no way that Rey would have defeated Palpatine like, there's just no chance. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. This video was actually somewhat hard to make just because I really don't like the sequels and more preferably The Rise of Skywalker. Like, to be honest, in my eyes, I cannot see Palpatine losing to a scavenger girl. Like, I, I just, it's kind of bizarre to me in my opinion, but we are all allowed to have a free speech and it's just my opinion. But I can say, I did have fun coming up with my own theories and stories on how he could have lost and how Rey could have defeated him. But guys, let me know what other Star Wars videos you'd like me to cover. Real quick, before I sign off guys, I want you to have you guys' notifications turned on because you do not want to miss my next upload. It's very impactful and I really want you guys to see it. It's very detailed and it's pretty awesome. I put a lot of work into it. So have your notifications turned on and until next time, remember, 